Hi gang, another Monday, at least as of this recording here, another Crash of the Titans, do the YouTube stuff, like, share, subscribe, hit that hit that bell, hit that bell. So, Quicksilver versus Invisible Woman, let's get into it. So, for Quicksilver, in order for me to explain all of his powers, we have to start at his blue ability and then work our way to his other abilities. So I gotta go to my Quicksilver real quick. Ha ha ha, pun intended. In order to talk about his other abilities, because I know they have variable cost. Now, there he is. All right, so Quicksilver, as as shown up on the Crash the Titan screen, black, blue, and green user, so his blue ability is called supersonic it's a passive ability so anytime that either I or the AI matches a blue tile or makes a blue match there's going to be a team up tile that's locked on the board and as long as that team up tile is locked on the board both his Idle Hands Black Ability and his Fist of Fury Green Ability become 1 AP cheaper. Okay. Now, as long as he has at least up to four of those locked supersonic tiles on the board, we're totally okay. However, whenever the fifth blue match is made, then all of those locked team up tiles will become unlocked and he'll do team damage to us so that's kind of quicksilver's gimmick in a nutshell now idle hands this here costs nine and what it does it does tile swap of two basic tiles and then like I said, it costs uh, one AP less for every light team up tile on the board, minimum of five. So again, if you have four lock tiles on the board, this power becomes five. Fist of Fury is his green ability, which costs eight. And it, it too also has the, the caveat of costing one AP less for each lock tile on the board like team up tile specifically so what it will do it'll deal damage to the target and then creates a, a locked team up tile on the board obviously it's going to be random okay so you see each of these powers here in conjunction with one another makes Quicksilver kind of deadly at least in a one-on-one -on -one situation because you know in our case we kind of do need blue but it, it, it'll get kind of ridiculous so as far as his affiliations go heroes Avengers team cap at least this version of Quicksilver all right now invisible woman granted I am not gonna be using my 370 invisible woman we're going to use my 172 However, we'll look at the 370's abilities and we'll go from there. So, she's a yellow, green, and blue user, though not in that particular order. Her grant invisibility, her grant invisibility power costs 7. What it will do, if we had a teammate, it would make Invisible Woman and one random teammate invisible. It creates a yellow invisibility tile on a basic tile and it will give us a yellow protect tile so that's going to be sort of kind of important at higher levels more invisibility tiles are a whole lot stronger and then all of her allies turn invisible for two turns okay force bubbles is her blue ability which is kind of kind of funny so what it will do for eight eight blue AP it'll give us some strike tiles on the board 
it'll lock uh, some number of random enemy special tiles on the board so countdown tiles attack tiles strike tiles repeater tiles anything except for invisibility tiles and web tiles and charge tiles okay and then as I said we get the the pretty strong blue strike tiles at lower levels three random strike attack or protect tiles and then you know the two strike tiles and then finally force field crush is her green ability which costs 10 and so what it'll do it'll deal damage to the target if there's at least four or fewer or in their case less than four force bubble tiles on the board if there's four or fewer then it creates four and then deals the 17,000 damage but if there's at least five tiles on the board then you re then you remove um, all the all the force bubble tiles you turn them into basic tiles and then you deal damage uh, according for each so if you have five five of those tiles there five times uh, five times 25 yes yeah, obviously gonna be a little bit more than than this here but you know you gotta add on to the fact too with those force bubbles um, the strike tiles so very rarely will you ever have that second caveat happen unless you know you happen to be running uh, invisible woman on invisible woman action in that case cool so her affiliations for those that care heroes fantastic four obviously team cap enhanced battle world uh, should be daughters of liberty but we're not going to get into all that there all right strategy time now instead of me doing what I normally do and talking about how how we're gonna pair up invisible woman with other people I'm gonna actually talk about the uh, the original version of this crash of the Titans again that's when the fights over with so if you have a a one cover yellow invisible woman you're in luck you can actually win this fight here the or I should say if you have yellow and blue and you don't necessarily have green then you can win this fight here but it's gonna be kind of painful to say the least not when not really painful but you have to be more mindful of your matches so what you want to do is you want to boost your yellow yellow red AP and then boost all AP put both of those there to uh, 2 AP so that way you have at least four yellow AP and then you want to find uh, any kind of support that gives you yellow AP at the start of the battle so that way you'll be invisible real quick and then all you have to do is try to avoid making blue matches or eliminating those team up those team up tiles that happen to be locked away by matching them you know if you can because as long as you're invisible Quicksilver won't be able to hit you with his black ability or his green ability though he'll be able to lock tiles on the board and then supersonic you know hey that's gonna get past your invisibility because it's a team damaging move now if I was using my 370 invisible woman what I would do I would just literally grab as much green as I possibly could and then just hit them hit them one time with green and then that's the fight because well her green is probably strong enough to take out that lesser equipped um, Quicksilver so the strategy here for me simple grabbing grabbing yellow as much as I can grabbing green 
as much as I can, making sure that we're protecting our invisibility tile, which again, obviously you want to do that there if you're, you're with an undercover invisible woman, and then, you know, making sure that Quicksilver doesn't have enough lock tiles on the board so that you have to be under the, uh, the burden of Supersonic. So that's enough of me talking. Hopefully I explained it well. If I didn't, uh, we'll let my matches do the talking for me. All right, started off a little, a little bit on my favor, but then after the uh, the supersonic went off, you know, and then he messed away my invisibility tile. That kind of made things a little bit, uh, not I guess say scary, just more, more tense to say the least. All right, now as I promised, how this fight here was originally before they. What I mean, they, the developers of Marvel Puzzle, former developers of Marvel Puzzle Quest D3 Go, how they had this one here going. How it was, the the properties of Invisible Woman's uh, Force Bubbles tiles, those were actually lock tiles. So, anytime you fired off either her blue or her green ability, they would actually lock those tiles for Quicksilver. And 
anytime Quicksilver would match his his blue and you know there was enough of those locked locked tiles on the board then yeah it would be stupidly annoying that's how it was um originally but then after invisible woman got her re one of her reworks it changed the properties of those locked tiles into force bubble tiles and then this is this is uh, where the uh, the crash is at today all right ooh so we got a brand new crash coming up next monday with my man rhino so that should be fun um we got we got our good friend vulture he is a brand new three star and five star character i actually like the five star vulture again he's somewhat different than the than the four star vulture but he'll be someone to chase after once he enters latest legends alongside omega red and then it's just figuring out who's the third gonna be do i really want spider gwen or gwenum or whoever the third character is going to be out of omega red vulture and insert here because you know for anniversary they're gonna probably have something pretty big what i mean by they i mean uh the good friends i don't know why i'm why i'm about to call these guys here demi urge they're not demi urge broken circle broken circle games so yeah and plus it's the 10th anniversary so so you know the character i'm not gonna say it has to be good but there's a possibility it could be bad too anyway uh thank you all for watching we'll be back again next monday for the rhino crash of the titans be excellent to your fellow human beings and i'm gonna catch all y'all next time peace